Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm your host Rob, aka Star Shadow, playing some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Last episode, we cleared out the silver mine right over here. And now we're gonna come see what's up with Socrates. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. <laughs> now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. Sounds about right. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. Maybe. They did. And you deserve that. That's not what I was said. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. I probably killed him then. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. <laughs> Slaves don't exactly make like a lot I of money. I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Like I said, he's probably dead. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master. Right, let's see what's going Make on. sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You said he's probably dead. Uh, there's another mercenary coming too, so let's avoid that guy. Let's see who it is first. Flame haired. Oh, he wasn't far at all. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. You suck, dude. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fadon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. But I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Fadon his I freedom. Kill you. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves. But the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his mm. papers are. Why does this just woman saying. need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon right, said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. <laughs> In exchange for the woman's death, had plenty of soldiers, but I they're all dead. Let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. An actual conundrum. One person's freedom is another's demise. This is an actual conundrum here. We actually have to do something. So the master, highs of cosmos. There were those among us who had no sense of what was right or good. 
take the man only known as the Master, a horrifying abomination in the shape of a man. He did not oversee his quarry or slave trade for financial wealth, but for the wealth of information that could be used by the cult. Every merchant who traveled to him brought truth he could use, and left with the lies he chose for them to believe. And his note in the Sanctuary of Cosmos on political unrest, M, formerly known, uh, formerly of the Vein, is a known eye, and a terrifying one at that. Ruthless in his oppression, cruel in his vengeance, in his revenge. You must use him to our advantage. Attica is large, and its people are a problem. Let him deal with them. From his control of the quarry, the slave trade there, he will be our eyes and ears. In his place, we welcome E to the Vein. His expertise in building deadly and expensive naval vessels will serve as sage well. And Cosmos, of course. Interesting. So we will have to give him a little bit of the... Uh... There he is. See if we can give him... We have to give him a little bit of the killing killing. Cassandra! I hear Socrates. What chance that we should meet Socrates. here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. <laughs> Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult <laughs> choice to make, Stalker. clearly. How Here's much Stalker. is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that hmm. of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. Might as well go so, full hog into uh, it. A thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child. An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. All right, I have to return to him. Why? Oh, I don't know. talk. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her. And Phaedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. If a farmer steals a food... Well, he died then. Yep. That's the end. Please, I need to get out. Is it the same guy that I was following before? Yeah. Uh, so we uh, decided to kill Cultus instead. And Phaedon's gone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The end. Alright, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head up over here and uh, hit up the, the viewpoint. But I guess the answers to that question would have told me who I would have been killing. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What's done is done. And done is done. Alright, I 
anyone up here? Hunters is over there. Okay. All right, let's climb this tower then. Yeah, sorry, cat. Here, we, you can't climb towers. I was gonna say the kit. I had to have forgotten about me by then. Alright, so that will do it for this episode. So Kratos information ended up being our mission ended up being weird. Uh, we killed the cultist. And uh we climbed the tower. That's uh a full day in 10 minutes. So, I'd like to thank everyone for joining me in this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the, the content on YouTube, please drop a like or comment. You can subscribe there as well. If you'd uh, like to follow the channel's social media, uh, Streams by Star on Twitch or on Twitter, and uh, come give us a follow at. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash anti-starshadow. Streaming on the weekends. 1 30, 2 30. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So come give us a follow. Come say hi. And uh, like I said, thank you for joining me. And I hope to, to see you again real soon.